Chapter Thirteen: The Longest Step. How did you reach before me, Apu? We both started walking together. That's because my footstep is bigger than yours, Priya. How does that matter? Let's watch this video to understand that. Priya and I are in the park, measuring distances between two trees. Do you know how we can do that? Using our footsteps. Let's see how many footsteps I take. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I take eight footsteps. Now let's take a look at Priya and see how many footsteps Priya takes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Priya takes more footsteps than me because her feet are smaller. Why don't you look at your family member's feet? See who has the biggest and smallest feet in your family. Try measuring the length of your bedroom with your footsteps. Long distances can be measured using footsteps. What if you want to measure the breadth of a table or a car? You can use handspans. Let's measure this table with handspans. One, two, three, four, five. This table is five handspans wide. Let's measure this cricket bat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This cricket bat is seven hand spans long. We can also use our four fingers to measure the height of some objects, like this bottle. Let's measure it. Four, eight, twelve. It is twelve fingers long. We can, of course, measure all these objects with the measuring tape, but we can use footsteps or handspans when a tape is unavailable. Well, have fun measuring things. See you next time. Bye bye.